Hello, my name is Stephanie Oliver and I'm an Esri instructor. I'm going to show you how to build a spatial map series. You may already be familiar with the idea of a map series. In previous versions of the software, it was called Data Driven Pages or Mapbook. If you're not familiar with a map series, it's a way that we can create a collection of pages known as map sheets built from a single layout. Each page in the map series highlights a particular extent. We can have dynamic elements such as scale, page number, table, or map title. We can also have static elements that are constant across all pages, such as graphics. A spatial map series is built using an index layer. Below this video is a link to a tool to build a polygon index layer if you don't already have one. Since we're working with a spatial map series, we're going to use this index layer. This index layer I built using the Create Fishnets tool and the option to build polygons. Let's take a look at the attributes. We can see that I added a page field. And this page field we're going to use to generate the pages of the map series. To start a map series, we create a layout with a map frame. I already have a layout created that I will use for the map series. The initial extent does not matter because that will update once you create the map series. Once we have this layout with a map frame, we can go into the layout tab. In the page setup group, there's the map series button. And we'll select spatial. We can see that it picked up the index grid as the layer to use and that page field for the name and sort field. We'll click OK. If we ever want to get back into those options, we can right click and go into the properties. Now let's add some additional map elements. From the insert tab, we can add dynamic text. If we scroll down, we'll see that we have some map series options including page number, page index, and page with count, which will add to the map series. With the legend, I only want to show those features that are featured in this particular extent. So we can right click and go into the properties. And under the legend item, we see the show properties button. And we can see that we have the option to only show features visible in the map extent. We can also show the feature counts of each of those features if we would like to. I'll go ahead and close this pane. And let's go ahead and add a title as well. I'm going to generate this title using the dynamic text and the name of my map. And let's do some additional formatting by right clicking, going into the properties. I want to remove that name and make that title bigger. And I'll close this pane. We can see these credits in my map frame, but maybe I want to pull those out as its own text box and format it. Again, we can go into dynamic text and we can see about halfway down we have the option for service layer credits. We can see that we have three little ellipses that show up with this particular text box. If you ever see that, it means that there's more text in that box than is being shown. So we can expand that out. And I want to format it. So I can right click, go into the properties, and we can make this text smaller and gray. We also may want to have an overview map that shows where we are. So I'll add an inset map by adding another map frame.
and want it to zoom in so we can clearly see the park boundary. So we'll zoom to layer. Now we can see, again, our service layer credits has those three little ellipses. So we may need to expand the box further to accommodate the service layer credits of our inset map frame. Now to show where we are, I'll need to add an extent indicator. So I'll select the map frame and go to extent indicator, picking my map series map, and then we can format that extent indicator under the contents by going into properties. Change that symbol to something that's a little bit more apparent. I'll go ahead and close that pane. Now we can see that as we double click on each of these maps, it will update our dynamic elements as well as the map frame itself and shows us exactly where we are in Rocky Mountain National Park. Now that we've set all these options, we can print the map series or export it. From the Share tab, we have the option to print our layout. And we can see if we scroll down under our map series options, we have the option to print all or some of the pages. We can also export the layout to a PDF. And again, under map series, we can export all or some of the pages. And we also have the option to do everything as a single PDF, or we can have multiple PDFs. I hope you find this helpful when you need to create a series of maps with the same layout using an index. Thanks for watching.